Well, good afternoon, Fondren. It's Monday, about two o'clock when I'm recording this out in the front lawn of the church next to the fountain. It's a beautiful day out. I hope you're getting outside and enjoying yourselves a little bit. Take a walk, get some fresh air while we're all stuck inside for a while. Wanted to give you an update on a few things about church. The first is that we're still here and we still miss you and look forward to being back together again soon. The news yesterday, as many of you may know, is that the CDC has recommended that we stay in this social distancing posture for a while longer through the end of April. So last night, the session met by an email vote and decided that we will follow those uh, instructions and that advice and we will continue to meet remotely through the end of April. That means all of our Sunday worship services will be on uh, video as we had last week and we will also have our Wednesdays together. Um, many of you have participated in the Sunday night virtual 545 service. I hope you will do that as well if you would like to. Just email the church office and let us know. Helen Boone has taken that project on and is leading that for us. Um, the Odyssey Sunday School class had a Zoom meeting yesterday and uh, several other groups are planning them. So we're staying connected to one another and we're gonna make this season work. We're gonna get through this together and come out on the other end when we can get back together again at church for worship and fellowship and enjoy one another's company. Wanted to take a little time today to talk about what we can do while we're home to keep our worship lives going. Now, most of us think about worship in terms of gathering at church, but in truth, worship has nothing to do with the building. It was decades before dedicated church buildings were built for congregations. People met in their homes in the first centuries of the church for worship. And often worship was done with a family gathered around the table, worshiping together. So I hope that in the coming weeks, as we're living in this new season, you'll take some time to find ways to worship at home, whether that means by yourself, with a spouse or loved one, with your children, or maybe you decide you wanna do a virtual FaceTime with someone and both of you worship together in your own homes and be together virtually and pray. And of course, I hope that you will join us for our videoed worship each week as we gather together as one community. A couple of other things you might think about doing. The daily prayer of the PCUSA is a great resource. The PCUSA Book of Prayer has morning, noonday, and evening prayers. These are all available through the Daily Prayer app, which is available on iTunes Store and also through your Android device. You can download those daily prayers. They have readings and prayers for each day. It's a great way to be guided through the afternoon or the morning or evening, whichever one you choose, or all three if you want. I also hope you'll keep getting outside, get some fresh air. Remember that God's creation is exploding all around us, that even while we're facing this health crisis together as a world, we are also watching the world come to life again this spring. The trees are leafing out, the flowers are beautiful. I've been driving around and seeing so many houses in this community that have beautiful flowers in the front yard. Lots of people are taking this as an opportunity to get outside and do a little gardening and work in the dirt. So whatever you do to make yourself feel alive in these few weeks, I hope you'll do that. As always, reach out to one another, drop someone a note, drop them an email or a phone call. Let folks know you're thinking about them. We're gonna stay connected together as a congregation and this is gonna be a season that will end one day. And together we will be again in worship, singing and worshiping God together. Finally, I wanna remind you that the work of the church is going on. We have lots of work that we are doing as a congregation in the community. Many of our members already have volunteer commitments. We have some opportunities if you would like to join us. Stewpot, as you can imagine, is seeing a huge increase in the number of people needing assistance, especially in the food pantry. If you would be willing to work for a morning or afternoon shift during the month of April, I hope that you will sign up. There'll be information in the e-news tomorrow about that. 
that will give you a link you can go to to sign up for a morning or afternoon shift. Or if you have trouble with that, just let me know and we'll get you on the calendar. Please do remember that because of the coronavirus situation, that StuPod is having to limit their volunteers to volunteers under the age of 65, and also to people who are not part of compromised communities or communities at greater risk of this virus. So if you have a health condition that puts you at greater risk, or if you're over the age of 65, we will find a way for you to fit into the work of the church. It just can't be at StuPot right now. We are gonna find some other things that are happening. Meals on Wheels is going on Saturday. We also have some other opportunities that are coming up in the next few weeks. This is a women's build for Habitat. So we'll have more information on those opportunities as they unfold. For now, stay safe, stay strong, love one another, trust God, wash your hands, do all those wonderful things, and know that your pastor loves you and misses you and cannot wait until we are all together again. Be well. I look forward to seeing you all soon.